Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. We're basing much of our show this week right here, Tippecanoe County, Lafayette, La West Lafayette, a region that is really on the move. Our year-long IBJ Media Engage Indiana series, which takes us literally to every corner of the state, rolled into the heart of Boilermaker country this week, a region undergoing transformational change. Details on that in a moment. But first, about 30 minutes down I-65 from Tippecanoe County, a project that also promises transformational change, the LEAP Research and Innovation District. And this week, a historic announcement from the anchor of that development, Eli Lilly and Company. The Medicine Foundry will combine research, manufacturing, and the most advanced technology available in a single location right here in Indiana. We're not aware of another investment like this in the world. CEO Dave Ricks uh, calling it a unique moment for the pharmaceutical industry. A $4.5 billion investment to create the Medicine Foundry, the first of its kind center combining research and advanced manufacturing in a single location focused on new ways of producing medicines and fueling Lilly's growing pipeline. Construction is well underway already on a massive $9 billion Lilly manufacturing campus at Lebanon's Leap District. This new investment in a separate area west of I-65 near State Road 32, it brings Lilly's total investment in the district to more than $13 billion, adding to an emerging hard tech corridor. Lilly's investment on the original 1,600 acres, obviously game changing. And now that we're moving west and into different parts of the site, I think that'll only continue to not only increase momentum, but draw additional companies, additional um, talent, additional research, and allow both state, local, academia, and industry to continue to partner to fulfill that mission that's really come together in, in a short time, just under three years. Now, when it opens uh, in uh, 2027, the Medicine Foundry expected to employ about 400 workers. For details on what this means uh, to Indiana overall, pleased to be joined by Vince Wong, the CEO at Bio Crossroads. And uh, Vince, uh, obviously uh, big dollars, uh, big jobs numbers. Your reaction to this uh, additional invest investment by Lilly? Oh, it's tremendous, uh, Gary. I mean, we're really blessed to have Lilly here in our ecosystem. And um, you know, they've certainly been making lots of investments with regard to manufacturing, but this is also an investment in research as well. So um, to both have research, new investments in research and manufacturing by Lilly at the site is really tremendous. What does this mean in your view, big picture? Uh, because Indiana has been designated uh, a biotech manufacturing hub, uh, right? Heartland Bioworks. This really is a key piece of that. How big could this be uh, overall for the state of Indiana? Absolutely. Um, as, as you alluded to, Gary, you know, the state was recognized as a tech hub. Indiana was the only state. Uh, to be recognized for a tech hub in three different areas, EV, um, biotech, and also uh, semiconductor chips. And so with regard to us being a biotech hub, that allows us to, um, we want a $51 million federal grant yeah. that build, uh, allows us to build a training site at 16 Tech to really create the workforce needed to um, deliver on the promise of what Lilly needs to meet the incredible demand they have for their therapies. And you look at the ripple effect of this Lilly uh, announcement on some existing companies here, Stefanato and Fishers and, and some others in the area, that ripple effect is real as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, all these tier one suppliers for not only Lilly, but um, Novo and, and all the injectables that are developing uh, therapies for obesity and other indications uh, really um, have a great nexus here in Indiana, and we have a real critical mass of capabilities, know-how, and uh, infrastructure to support that. You talk about being a hub when you look at a terrible disease like Alzheimer's, and certainly Lilly at the forefront of that. Absolutely. You believe that Indiana has the opportunity to really be a center uh, uh, for solving the Alzheimer's uh, puzzle. Absolutely. I mean, we are really blessed with both strong research um, organizations at IU School of Medicine, at Purdue University, but also at Lilly and also startups as well that are really on the forefront and world-class researchers in the um, area of Alzheimer's and we really have an opportunity to be the place where Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. uh, the puzzle of Alzheimer's is yeah. solved. Final question, you know, they say success breeds success and when you see continued major deals, major investment from an Eli Lilly and company, what does that do to Indiana's quest to become, you know, this center, this biotech manufacturing center? No, I think you know this is uh, really a golden age uh, for life science here in Indiana. 
Um, there's a real focus on reshoring um, biopharmaceutical manufacturing back to the United States to really uh, reduce the risk of supply chain due to uh, geopolitical risk. Mm -hmm. And so um, Indiana knows how to make things well, mm -hmm. um, and it has a great legacy of manufacturing uh, FDA-regulated products. And so we've got um, you know, great institutions that are developing the workforce out of Purdue, out of IU, out of Notre Dame, um, and then also, you know, the legacy workforce as well that's got that expertise. All right, I'm sure we'll be talking to you a lot more in the future. Vince Wong, the CEO at BioCrossroads. Vince, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Gary. Great All to right. Be here.